Hey guys, not me here. Um, it's early November, which means that Halloween is still a warm and fuzzy memory. My Halloween costume was a triumph, as ever. I posted a picture of it to my Facebook and said at the time that I wouldn't explain it because it was self-explanatory as a costume. And I do maintain that that's true. However, some people are... I'm not quite sure what the politically correct term is for this, so I apologise if I do get it wrong. Some people are artistically retarded. Um, so for those retards out there, um, and I mean that in the, in the, the kindest possible terms, um, let's delve in with a little bit of an explanation, shall we? I was dressed as society. I always like to go for big themes for my Halloween costumes. Um, I once went as the environment. Um, I've been as the, the concept of unfulfilled potential, the plight of the Jewish people. One year I did go as Woody from Toy Story, but I, I'm not sure what people learned from that. The single black glove that I was wearing, of course, represents O.J. Simpson's, um, and on a larger scale, murder itself. I also have a strip of toilet paper looping over my head and down across my face. What else could that represent? but the uh, torrent of feces um, that we are fed by government politicians, you know, lies and such. All of them. I don't need to be more specific than that. The throws that I'm wearing are obviously covering up the vast majority of my form. You don't get to see my body, which was naked. That obviously represents how in society we cover up who we truly are. Um, we, we don't share ourselves with each other. Um, would much rather lie, like on Instagram and stuff. Standing Rock. You know, do I need to say anything more about that? Or explain it? No. You know what's going on there. I obviously know what's going on there. St Standing Rock. And I highlighted um, the plight of the natural world with the sad frowny face that I made out of a banana. But if the natural world is dead, not me, how come you've got flowers in your glasses? The fake flowers, friend. Fake flowers. Does that answer your question? The condiments, yeah. Um, that's something that I was quite proud of, uh, actually. It was quite late in the day that I thought of that, but it worked out very nicely. The condiments, um, of course, represent the trivialities that we concern ourselves with in life, um, like reality TV or handshakes. Whereas we should be focusing on the more important things like social media and love. We've got the condiments, <laughs> you know, we've got the condiments. What about the meat? Where's the meat, guys? The only reason I do any of my stuff is to inspire. That's the main reason to do anything. So I hope that I've inspired you for next year to really step up your game um, with your Halloween costume. As a final tip, I would say consider logistics. Um, the condiments were, of course, um, a, a really incredible statement that I was making, but carrying them around everywhere would have been a nightmare, um, you know, at a, in a party context, say. Um, luckily, though, I, uh, I wasn't invited to any parties, so uh, dodge that bullet.